Hello, welcome to yet another video on Power BI. And in this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting chart, the line and the area chart. Line chart is available here in Power BI. Then there is this area chart, and then there is this stat area chart. Now, before we begin, uh, line charts and more so area chart also uh, are primarily used when we have our time series data which means one of our x's most likely the x-axis though it can also be y-axis would be a time series or has time based data for this we are using a stock market data which i'm representing here and you can see there are these columns state column stock one all the way up till stock five if we have a look at this data this data looks like this the date column stock one stock two stock three and stock five so these are the stock prices on these given dates right it goes all the way down right so um let's try to discuss this so if i bring the date column on one of the axis and any one stock on the uh, y-axis i repeat uh date on the x-axis and any uh, stock price on the y-axis we get a line chart like this right so it shows us how the stock price has gone up and down in this time period so it's a very good way to analyze the data to see the trend if we talk about area chart so in this uh, the x-axis remains the time series and then over here we have taken different stock prices as you can see the different stock prices over here and these stock prices um, form different area charts over here, right? As a matter of fact, if we go back to our line chart, and if I click or change it to area chart, this also becomes an area chart. The difference is just like the line chart, uh, the only thing is there's an area that is shaded below. An area chart become more relevant when there are more than one line. Like in this case, there are multiple lines. There are five stock lines. So uh, over here, I can see uh, how each stock is showing up right it gives a good uh, differentiation between different trend lines or, or time series and finally we have stacked area chart stacked area chart as you can see it gives a further enhanced view wherein we have differences in the area visible clearly right so like uh, the top one you see how differently it is showing the area and then second third and fourth and fifth. so this way we get a clear cut demarcation of uh, different areas and hence the name stacked area chart now let's try to make these charts from scratch so as we can see uh, the data that we had uh, date stock prices high stock prices so what we'll do is first we'll start with line chart let's click on the line chart uh, let's fill, it, fill the canvas uh, in the empty space and then i bring date to the x-axis and stock one start with stock one to the y-axis automatically it takes the respective um x and y axis now this you see because it's a daily data if you see the data the data is a, a daily data right so hence it is showing so much uh, spikes in here so i just get rid of quarter month and day from here and this way i get a year wise data so it gives a, a better uh, or a smoother line right this is a line chart which has airways data now if i take or convert this to area chart so what i do is i click on this area chart it just shares the area below it right now, if i want i can make multiple area charts within the same chart by bringing in other stock and finally if i further change this area chart to a stacked area chart by just clicking here I get the same chart with multiple stacked areas right so this is how you can create line chart area chart and stacked area chart in power bi this brings us to the end of our video on line chart and area chart if you like our video do subscribe to our channel and do share and comment uh, on this video thank you so much this is manu from climatic data lab thank you